at the two big tax cuts that passed that really worked, the Reagan tax cut, the Bush tax cut, and in both cases, the president was firmly behind it. It took, it took presidential capital to make things happen. Then he worked with the Congress, and we worked with him. And so if President Trump's got a tax plan, he's got to really own it. He's got to really be behind it. To Meaning make it this pass. isn't something that can necessarily start in the House, he can, unless he endorses it and says, this is my plan, and I want both of these houses to come together and pass this. If it starts in the Congress, it's, it, I think it's going to be difficult. Uh, uh, former Congressman Dave Camp and I worked very hard for two years to put together a major tax reform bill. We're making headway. Then it became pretty clear that Obama was not in favor of it. That is, he was not willing to spend a lot of political capital, so it kind of fizzled. But the, President Trump has certainly said that he's in favor of a Trump of a, of a tax cut. He, he well, yeah, wants but this the question is, what's the plan? <laughs> Obama, excuse me, of, of Bush and Reagan had actual plans that were fairly specific, and he had a very qualified team. Well, they I, they have said that they'll release a, a budget plan or a, a, a tax plan yeah. come March, somewhere between early and mid March. Yeah. So if we see the plan at that point. Yeah. I guess the question becomes, as long as the Republicans control the, the House and the Senate and they have a president who's in favor of it, is it something that they can do? Not necessarily. The, the, the congressional rules are pretty complex. And if the Democrats, which I'm sure is the case, are not going to like it very much, they can throw a monkey wrench in it pretty quickly. It does come down to working together. It, it's, you know, that's not rocket science. That's what it's all about. But the whole gamble right now is that all of this does come together. Are you in the same place or no? With? Just the idea that this is all going to happen. Um, you, wait a minute, you mean health care and tax reform and all Both, that? Both, all of it. I don't think health care is, health care is going to get very far. It's just a, it's such a muddled mess. Even this morning's papers, the president, but, but the view is how that complicated it is. But the doesn't happen, then it actually becomes even harder that to does, get to the tax base. Because, because Republicans want to do health care to get some revenue to do tax reform. And to your bet is this doesn't happen at all? Okay. I'm I want to understand. I, we need to work on this. Right. The, the code is a mess. But I, it, the only way you get this stuff passed is if you honestly do sit down and, and work with things out together. That's what Chuck Grassley and I did in the Finance Committee. I was going to say, were we close with this with Simpson Bowles at some point, where you had a lot of people who, from both sides of the table, right. came together and, and, and really said these You need that kind of a, an approach, Simpson Bowles approach. That's what you need. Wow, Senator. We miss you. I mean, you're like reasonable, nice, talking about working together and stuff. I mean, when you look at what's happening right now, I mean, are you, a, I mean, does it make you sad? No. Um, uh, look at it. In life, we only have two choices try or do nothing. So, all of us have to do our very best to try to figure out how to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. It's that you try, because we're America. And we have to find solutions for the people we represent. Look at the people are our employers. We're just the hard hands, we're the employees. And we got to remember that and sit down and say, okay, what do our people really want us to do? They want us basically to put this stuff together in a reasonable way. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.